Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my soul like a lot. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations of the manga. And for anime only fans, this is the time of the month where a lot of the content that you guys are going to see on the channel is going to be spoiler heavy. However, if you're still here, I'm assuming that you guys are caught up with the manga and you don't care about me talking about spoilers. So I think we need to have a real conversation now that Boruto Zamaki has seen his father lose the power of the QB and we've seen Boruto watch as he learns that he's the one that destroyed Sasuke's Rinnegan and so the two people that Boruto looks up the most his father and his basically adopted father in Sasuke their positions in Konoha they've essentially been vacated so obviously Naruto's still the strongest ninja in the village yet Naruto's been significantly depowered and so it makes you wonder who exactly is going to inherit Naruto's will of fire so that's not to say that Naruto's dead that's not where I'm going but this is something to where now that he's lost Kurama we have to start looking towards the future which means that we have to look at who's going to fill that position when Naruto ultimately is no longer powerful enough to defend the village from the growing threats that are approaching the village. We have Code who is out there with the Karma Seal now, which means that even though it's a fake Karma Seal, if myself and others who have theorized this are correct, Code probably gets one hell of a boost from using his Karma Seal, but Code just can't be a perfect vessel for an Osuski, but he probably gets that same level up that he's gotten before. And so that brings us to the importance of somebody, or in this case, several somebodies, inheriting Naruto's will to actually protect the village now that the Hokage might not be powerful enough to actually do it. And I think that when you actually look at this from a narrative perspective, there is a way to actually do this. So Naruto, part of the reason why he got so powerful in the original series is there were several people that invested into him, several people that believed in Naruto. Naruto achieved a lot on his own, but he had people that guided him and picked him up when he fell. And so as a Hokage, Naruto's been the exact opposite in the sense that Naruto's always been powerful enough on his own to pretty much handle every threat before we got to Jigen and Ishiki. Naruto had enough power to actually deal with all of these threats, including Fuse Momoshiki. You have to remember that Naruto had less than 50% of his chakra when he was fighting against Fuse Momoshiki, and he was landing in arguably the best shots on Fuse Momoshiki during that battle. Even in his base, while still a far cry from what you expect Naruto to be able to do, the fact that in his base he was able to hold his own briefly in Taijutsu against Fuse Momoshiki doing a lot better during that time. Again, this is fatigue Naruto at less than 50% of his chakra doing much better against Fuse Momoshiki than any of the other four Kage were able to do. That in itself has to be applauded. And yet we're now in a situation where Naruto, if he's ever faced with a situation like that ever again, Naruto cannot overcome that level of a threat by himself. It's going to take strategy. It's going to take teamwork, which is why I think that the people that will ultimately end up inheriting Naruto's will are going to be the actual shinobi that Naruto is currently the leader of as Hokage. The same people that Naruto is giving orders to, I think that they are going to be the ones who inherit Naruto's will to actually protect the village because one thing about naruto as a character down to his core is that naruto is never at his best when he acts alone as a lone wolf but instead when he has other people beside him believing in him and pushing him towards the ultimate victory in a sense naruto has returned back to that underdog role that made so many of us love him and i think that him having to lean on others during this time and others sharing the load that was his ninja way that was his will of fire as hokage i think that that is where the story could potentially go next narratively all of a sudden we find ourselves in a situation where other characters powerful characters like kakashi who if you've been keeping up with the kakashi redstone videos that i have on my playlist on this channel 
you know that Kakashi has gotten a lot stronger since Kakashi's actually become the Hokage. He's done some really insane stuff. You have Rock Lee, somebody who in episode 70 of the Boruto anime was confirmed to be a master of the eight inner gates. You have Sakura, somebody who I know there are a lot of jokes about Sakura, but in the timeline where we currently are, 16 years removed from the end of the fourth great ninja war, Sakura is somebody that has been storing chakra into a Byakugo seal for 14 years. The last time, if I'm not mistaken, that she used the actual Byakugo seal and drawed out its full power was during the events of the Sakura Heaton novel. So Sakura has a lot of chakra that has been built up during this time. You also have the opportunity to start bridging the gap between the old generation and the new generation as you have a character like Boruto whose body is 80% Osusuke DNA. You have Sarda, somebody who's a prodigy in her own right. You have Miski, somebody who has Sage Mode. All of a sudden, these characters, as we start going into the time skip that we know is coming very soon in the manga, now all of a sudden these characters have the opportunity to start training alongside with the old generation to face the threat that their Hokage is no longer able to handle by himself. That the shadow Hokage Sasuke can no longer protect the village from the shadows by himself. This new generation must work together to rise alongside the old generation and using the theme of ninja tech and science, which that is part of the Boruto story, they're going to have to try and find a way to make up for the fact that their raw power probably is not gonna be able to surpass the old generation. However, using the advancements of science and everything they have made available to them, maybe that in conjunction opens up the door for them to find that hybrid to be able to start combating people like Code and Delta, people who are human beings, but have been scientifically enhanced with ninja tech and, and artificially enhanced with their bodies. Those members of Kara that you're seeing, they're the ultimate blend of ninjutsu, chakra, and actual science itself. And so this new generation, I'm not saying that they inherit Naruto's will by turning themselves into cyborgs, which again, they'd still be human, but they would have artificial enhancements. I'm not saying that. But I am saying the same way that in the Sasuke Shinden novel that teaches star pupil where the scientific ninja weapon team department looks at a jutsu that Sasuke makes and says, hey, that's pretty cool. However, let us study that jutsu a little closer. How about you make these changes and adjustments? And Sasuke, somebody who's a prodigy in his own right, looks at it and says, you know, that's not a bad idea. I think that that can make better destructive force if I do it your way. I think finding that blend like that is what's going to allow this next generation to rise up and potentially start filling that void with Boruto being the one that leads the way, which is going to be so ironic because Boruto wants to walk his own path. And yet at the same time, he's in the position that his own father was in to where he's a huge military asset and he has the highest chakra levels out of anyone in the village. Just as that Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, Naruto Uzumaki, was seen as a military asset. Boruto is both a liability because he has Momoshiki Osusuke, but his body is also 80% Osusuke now, which means that Boruto's chakra levels are on a completely different level. And so now we're in a situation where Boruto, on his quest to actually be the person supporting the village from the shadows, has to step onto the other side of things and actually be the person who's at the center of the village potentially protecting the village using that cursed power of his. However, I wanna know from you guys, how do you guys feel about this? And who are the three people you think are best in line to inherit Naruto's will going forward? Let me know down in the comment section below, but as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.